Personal Life-Saving Appliances The International Life-Saving Appliance, LSA, code sets out detailed technical requirements for life-saving appliances on ships, ensuring safety and protection for all on board. This code is part of the International Convention for the Safety of Life at Sea, SOLAS. The LSA code ensures that all life-saving equipment meets standards for design, construction, maintenance, and performance. Chapter 2 of LSA code outlines the standards and specifications for various personal life-saving appliances, ensuring they meet safety, performance, and usability requirements. It covers life buoys, life jackets, immersion suits, anti-exposure suits, and thermal protective aids, detailing their construction, functionality, and testing protocols. 1. General Requirements of Life-Saving Appliances All life-saving appliances used on board shall comply with the following mandatory requirements. Be constructed with proper workmanship and materials. Not be damaged in stowage throughout the air temperature range minus 30 degrees Celsius to plus 65 degrees Celsius. Operate throughout the seawater temperature range minus 1 degree Celsius to plus 30 degrees Celsius. Be rot-proof, corrosion-resistant, and not affected by seawater, oil, or fungal attack. Exposed to sunlight, be resistant to deterioration. Be of a highly visible color on all parts where this will assist detection. Be fitted with retroreflective material. Be clearly marked with approval information. Life buoys shall comply with the following. Outer diameter not more than 800 millimeters and an inner diameter of not less than 400 mm be constructed of inherently buoyant material. Be capable of supporting 14.5 kilograms of iron in fresh water for 24 hours. Have a mass of not less than 2.5 kilograms. Not sustain burning or continue melting in fire for a period of two seconds. Be constructed to withstand a drop into the water from the height of 30 meter. Life jackets shall comply with the following. An adult life jacket shall be so constructed that shall not sustain burning or continue melting after being totally enveloped in a fire for a period of two seconds. At least 75% of persons who are completely unfamiliar with a life jacket can correctly don it within a period of one minute without assistance. It is comfortable to wear. It allows the wearer to jump from a height of 4.5 m into the water without injury and without dislodging or damaging the life jacket. Shall have buoyancy, which is not reduced by more than 5% after 24-hour submersion in fresh water. Shall be fitted with a whistle firmly secured by a cord. Child life jacket shall be constructed and perform the same as an adult life jacket except as follows. Donning assistance is permitted for small children. It shall only be required to lift the mouth of an exhausted or unconscious wearer clear of the water a distance appropriate to the size of the wearer. Assistance may be given to board a survival craft, but wearer mobility shall not be significantly reduced. In addition to the markings with approval information including the administration which approved it and any operational restrictions, a child life jacket shall be marked with child symbol. 5. Be inflatable life jackets. A life jacket which depends on inflation for buoyancy shall have not less than two separate compartments and comply with all requirements for ordinary life jacket and shall, in the event of loss of buoyancy in any one compartment, be capable of complying with the all requirements for ordinary life jacket, shall have buoyancy, which is not reduced by more than 5% after 24-hour submersion in fresh water after inflation be provided with a device to permit inflation by a single manual motion, and be capable of being inflated by mouth. Life Jacket Light Shell Have a luminous intensity of not less than 0.75 candelas in all directions of the upper hemisphere. Have a source of energy capable of providing a luminous intensity of 0.75 candelas for a period of at least 8 hours. Be visible over as great a segment of the upper hemisphere as is practicable when attached to a life jacket. Be of white color. If the light referred above is a flashing light, it shall, in addition, be provided with a manually operated switch and flash at a rate of not less than 50 flashes and not more than 70 flashes per min with an effective luminous intensity of at least 0.75 candelas. Self-igniting light shell. Be such that they cannot be extinguished by water. 
be of white color and capable of either burning continuously with a luminous intensity of not less than two candelas in all directions of the upper hemisphere or flashing, discharge flashing, at a rate of not less than 50 flashes and not more than 70 flashes per min with at least the corresponding effective luminous intensity. Be provided with a source of energy capable of meeting the requirement of previous paragraph for a period of at least two hours. Be capable of withstanding the drop test into the water from the height at which it is stowed above the waterline in the lightest seagoing condition or 30M, whichever is the greater, without impairing either its operating capability or that of its attached components. Self-activating smoke signals. Emit smoke of a highly visible color at a uniform rate for a period of at least 15 minutes when floating. Not to ignite explosively or emit any flame during the entire smoke emission time of the signal. Not be swamped in a seaway. Continue to emit smoke when fully submerged in water for a period of at least 10 seconds. Be capable of withstanding the drop test into the water from a height 30 meters. The immersion suit shell. It can be unpacked and donned without assistance within two minutes, taking into account of clothing and life jacket. It will not sustain burning or continue melting after totally enveloped in a fire for a period of two seconds. It will cover the whole body, with the exception of the face. Hands shall also be covered unless permanently attached gloves are provided. It is provided with arrangements to minimize free air in the legs. Following a jump from a height of not less than 4.5 m into the water, there is no undue ingress of water into the suit. Immersion suits comply with the requirements of life jackets. An immersion suit which has buoyancy and is designed to be worn without a life jacket shall be fitted with a light and the whistle. The wearer can able to 1. Climb up and down a vertical ladder at least 5 meters in length. 2. Perform normal duties associated with abandonment. 3. Jump from a height of not less than 4.5 meters into the water without damaging or dislodging the immersion suit or being injured. 4. Swim a short distance through the water and board a survival craft. Anti-exposure suits. The anti-exposure suit shall be constructed with waterproof materials such that it provides inherent buoyancy of at least 70 newtons, is made of material which reduces the risk of heat stress during rescue and evacuation operations covers the whole body with the exception of the head and hands and, where the administration so permits, feet, gloves, and a hood shall be provided in such a manner as to remain available for use with the anti-exposure suits, can be unpacked and donned without assistance within two minutes, does not sustain burning or continue melting after being totally enveloped in a fire for a period of two seconds, is equipped with a pocket for a portable VHF telephone, has a lateral field of vision of at least 120 degrees. Anti-exposure suits are designed to protect the wearer from extreme environments, while immersion suits are designed to prevent hypothermia and death in cold water. Thermal protective aids. A thermal protective aid shall be made of waterproof material having a thermal conductance of not more than 7,800 W slash M2 dot K, and shall be so constructed that, when used to enclose a person, it shall reduce both the convective and evaporative heat loss from the wearer's body. The thermal protective aid shall cover the whole body of persons of all sizes wearing a life jacket with the exception of the face. Hands shall also be covered unless permanently attached gloves are provided. Be capable of being unpacked and easily donned without assistance in a survival craft or a rescue boat. Permit the wearer to remove it in the water in not more than two minutes if it impairs ability to swim. Thank you for watching the video. For more marine topics, please subscribe the Seafix channel.